Before we start, please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I share short horror stories like this one. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers and it would mean the world to me. Now, let's begin the story. Story number one, my encounter with the son of the donkey lady at the arcade. When my family and I first arrived at the new area, I couldn't help but notice how empty and desolate it felt. Despite my father's enthusiasm for the opportunity the house presented, I couldn't help but feel uneasy. The buildings looked old and decrepit. And as we passed by the nearby cemetery, I noticed an old woman holding a baby in the middle of the graveyard. It was an eerie sight that immediately caught my attention. Walking down the street, I saw a young man and approached him. I told him I'm new in the area and I asked for his suggestions on how to have a good time in this place. Without saying a word, he simply pointed towards the arcade. I didn't hesitate and made my way to the arcade, which had an old school feel to it. The arcade was deserted and as I walked through it, I noticed a dark figure sitting in the corner. I was terrified and didn't want to say anything. The figure's eyes were fixated on me and I could feel its presence. Suddenly, a gust of cold wind blew towards me and when I looked back, the figure was gone. The arcade now seemed even darker than before and I was eager to leave. But when I tried to leave, I was shocked to find the figure blocking the door. It was much larger than I had anticipated, and the stench coming from it was unbearable. I felt so overwhelmed and scared that I couldn't hold back my tears. In that moment of panic, I started praying. Miraculously, the figure changed its posture and ran out of the door, making hoof sounds as it ran. I rushed back home and told my family everything. My dad was speechless, and my mom was terrified. We immediately called the police, but they didn't believe us. They thought I was just imagining things, and that the figure was a homeless person. Story number two, the cold blood. Meat. Eater. I vividly recall the cautionary tales my parents warned me about, advising me to stay close to home due to the rumors circulating in the area regarding missing children. These weren't just ordinary disappearances, but rather, some of these kids were found with missing body parts. It was absolutely horrifying. Although I'm not sure if it's just me, but whenever I hear stories like these about people going missing, I always seem to think it couldn't happen to me. I'm under the impression that these stories happen to other people and not to me. So when my friends wanted me to go with them to the arcade, I didn't need much convincing. I had some money saved for my parents, so I happily joined them. As soon as I started playing, a man approached me and gave me some money, claiming that he knew my dad. I felt lucky and continued to play. However, things took a sinister turn when the man suddenly grabbed my hand tightly and whispered in my ear, You're coming home with me tonight. It was like a scene from a horror movie, and I was too frightened to scream. I thought it would anger him, and he might hurt me or do something even worse. But deep down, I knew I had to take a risk if I wanted to survive. I had to scream, and so I did, as loudly as I could. However, it didn't play out as I had hoped. Instead of running away, the man attempted to silence me by covering my mouth with a cloth. Even though the arcade was packed with people, he seemed unafraid. I began to realize that he was the man responsible for all the missing children, and not just that, he had even consumed some of their body parts. Before I knew it, I had blacked out. When I eventually regained consciousness, I found myself in the hospital, surrounded by my family and relatives. They told me that a man who knew my dad had witnessed the man who was abducting me and had intervened, causing the kidnapper to leave me behind and flee the scene. I was undoubtedly the luckiest person on earth. 